Okay, folks, we're back again to do another unboxing of comics. This one's going to be interesting. Because if you noticed last week, there was no video of me unboxing comics. I assure you I'm fine. We just didn't get any comics. Um, the reason for that... There were two reasons we only we we're not doing diamond so we get comics from lunar and penguin random house well the lunar lunar has a hundred dollar minimum to ship the books so we'll start with lunar packaged perfectly again so they only put out like five titles last week so i didn't meet that hundred dollar minimum so i got no shipment from lunar but anyway here it is so some of these are not going to be new this week they're going to be from last week, but only a couple, like Flash, I think, maybe the only one I got. Um, anyhow, I'll explain what happened with Penguin Random House when we get to those. So we didn't get that shipment either. So, again, perfectly packaged comics from Lunar. I appreciate their, their good work they always do. Okay, that was a bundle of, I should say what it is. DC Connect, which is your catalog. Go to uh, your local comic shop, pick that up so you'll know what's coming up to order. Those are free. Okay, let's grab a big stack of them out of here. Poison Ivy, number nine. That's a good cover. I probably should have gotten more than one copy. Monkey Prince, number 12. Probably should have gotten less than one copy. It's just not selling. I don't know if it's good. DC Universe, Lazarus Planet, Next Evolution, number one, one shot. Got a couple of these. Let's take a look inside. Art looks pretty good. Yes. Okay. Joker, Man Who Stopped Laughing, number five. Card stock variant. Get a little tappy tappy. That's a good cover. And here's the regular cover for Joker, the man who stopped laughing. Number five, also cardstock, as evidenced by the sound from the Tappy Tappy. Big, big old $6, $5.99 cover price on that. That's a lot. Some would say too much. Gotham City, year one. $5 cover price, card stock, regular cover, tappy tappy. The Flash, number 792, card stock, Black History Month variant. Give it a tappy tappy, it is card stock. Another card stock, tappy tappy cover, Flash 792. And yet another. Flash, 792, Tappy Tappy cardstock variant. And here is Flash, regular cover. Seven hundred and ninety-two. And it is not cardstock, however, it is cover stock, unlike what Marvel is doing with some of their books. Batman Spawn, second printing. That one, of course, is cardstock. It is second printing, as evidenced by the phrase second printing printed on the back cover. All right. Get some more comics out of this box. That's the hard part, getting them out of the box without destroying them. Flash, more Flash. One Minute War Special, number one. Race Against the Clock. This is a cover stock, not card stock cover. That made lots of sense, right? Anyway, $5.99 cover price. It is a number one. Let's look at the art. 
Art looks pretty good. And what's this? And I think that Flash One Minute War, some of that Flash, something Flash came out last week. That was a last week book. I also believe this was a last week book. Harley Quinn, <laughs> DC, <clears throat> excuse me, DC's Harley Quinn Romances. Number one, that's a great title. Of course, based off the old Harlequin romances. I think this, yeah, this is the regular cover. Card stock, tappy tappy. Big old $9.99 cover price, but it is square bound card stock. Pretty deluxe. Some might say a better deal because it's thicker. And art looks pretty good. Oh, good. Here's more another Poison Ivy. See, I know what I'm doing. Poison Ivy number nine card stock variant. Tappy Tappy. Another good cover. DC killing it on the covers. <clears throat> Rick and Morty. Number one. I would think this would have a subtitle, not just Rick and Morty. It's Rick and Morty. No, this is Rick and Morty number one. I guess they've relaunched. We'll look at the art. It's a, eh, that's about what you'd expect out of a Rick and Morty comic. Okay, enough of that. Next comic. Blue Beetle, graduation day number three. I think that might have been a reorder. I, think I might have reordered that. First prince of somebody. Got one more copy. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's a reorder. Catwoman 51. I've seen that one before, too. Pretty sure that's a reorder. Batman, Legends of Gotham. Oh, it got stuck to the tape. Got to watch out for that. I think Rick of the Walmart unboxing fame had a problem with that. The multi-packs. He was doing an unboxing. And got some stuff stuck on tape. Now I've done it. Luckily, I didn't destroy the comic. Anyway, Batman Legends of Gotham number one, one shot. Here's the art interior. Let's move on. Oh, I got something coming up. Big old stack of Batman. Batman number 132. <laughs> Card stock, tappy tappy variant. Here's another Batman spawn, second printing. I think that's the same cover. They did the thing where they were switching up spawn and Batman. It may have been different. I don't know. Don't care. Batman 132, a card stock variant. Tappy tappy. Joe Quesada. Variant that's got a five ninety nine cover price, and here's another yet another Batman number one thirty two variant cover. I like this one with the Catwoman. Hard to go wrong with Catwoman. These are trying to fall over. Hold on a second. Lots of comics this week. Too many. It's cardstock. We'll give it the tappy. All right. Here's the regular cover for Batman number 132. Got a big old stack of these because Batman sells comics. And it's $5. $4.99. Is that too much? How many of you guys have quit collecting comics? Or at least cut back because of increased prices? Which honestly haven't been... The DC ones seem to be going up a little faster than the Marvel ones. Marvel just cutting back on the quality instead of raising the price. Batman Joker Deadly Duo, number four. This is card stock cover. Big old four ninety nine cover price. It's card stock tappy tappy, and it's got that partially shiny, partially matte finish. I keep going on and on about DC Universe Lazarus Planet. Legends Reborn one shot. I think this is a reorder. It looks familiar. Uh, we'll not dwell on it. 
Here's a big old thick one. Batman, one bad day, Catwoman number one. I do remember that this was from last week's shipment we did not get. It's card stock, square bound, one shot. Here's your art. Tappy, tappy. Looks pretty good. Those are very popular. Probably needed. I think that, I don't know. I think I may have had some of those already. They had it listed as coming out last week. This also is a reorder. Um, I think that Catwoman one was a reorder. Hard to keep track, especially with shenanigans going on right now. Let me move some of these out of the way, and we'll get to the Marvel stuff from Penguin Random House. Okay, so what happened with the Penguin was UPS lost the shipment. I got a couple of mailers. I did do a video of me opening them. It wasn't anything uh, awesome or anything. I'll be right back. I'll go get those. Two. Hours later. I do bag and board everything. I just held them till this week. So we had uh, Silver Surfer Ghost Light, Planet of the Apes cover. Number one. Scarlet Witch number two. Star Trek number four. Miles Morales number three. And the My Little Pony comics. Those actually did come in last week. I didn't put them out because it wasn't enough. I sold a couple. To the customer. Okay. So, as we unbox this, remember, there will be a shipment here because they lost one box. There will be one of these boxes will be last week's order. So maybe not new comics this week, maybe from last week. So it's new comics this week and last week. All right. Darth Vader, number 31, regular cover. What is this? This is Black Panther, number 14. Planet of the Apes variant. Black Panther, no prize variant, number 14. Black, Pri Black Panther, number 14, no prize variant. These are kind of cool. Um, what that is is uh, if they... If you called out back in Stan's time, if you called out Marvel and said, hey, you made a mistake in the comic and they agreed that they made a mistake, they would mail you an empty envelope and call it a no prize. They would actually mail it to you. And people have them and you can... Sorry, I was getting a call. You, you can, you can uh, get them on eBay. Sometimes people list them on eBay. You get a no, an empty envelope from Marvel. <sighs> Daredevil, number eight. Does not appear to be a variant. There should be more than, yep, several of these. This comic is selling. People like this this run of Daredevil. So I got a bunch of copies, and they'll probably sell out. Fantastic Four. What? What is this? Amazing Spider-Man number 19. I'm going with this as Amazing Spider-Man number 19. Let's, well, that appears to be what it is. Going with it. Amazing Spider-Man number 19 variant cover. Now, if it was me, I would have probably saved this artwork for a Fantastic Four variant. This is, wait, did they really? is that really what's going on here? I refuse to accept that that's what's happening here. Okay, this is Amazing Spider-Man number 19. Let's, let's just, let this, let, let, oh, yeah. Okay, that should be have sunk in at that point. I'm starting to think Marvel hates us and is trying to confuse us. My Little Pony, Classics Reimagined, Little Phillies, number four. Regular cover, cover A.
I'm going to set these aside because I'm not sure, 100% sure I'm finished talking about that yet. That's stupid. Ghost Rider, number 11, Planet of the Apes variant. Ghost Rider number 11 variant with some spine dings. That is because the cover is the same stock as the regular interior paper pages. Paper pages. Pick the pack of pickle peppers. Red Goblin number one. Regular cover. With a, well, God damn! now we're giving the Marvels a tappy. Anyhow, this is a little bit more substantial cover than the flimsy ones. Here's your interior art for Red Goblin number one. So we got the Green Goblin, Red Goblin, Gold Goblin. Yeah. Almost dropped those. You didn't see that. Amazing Spider-Man number 19. Regular cover. You can tell it's regular because it doesn't say Fantastic Four on it. I knew I wasn't going to let that go. More of that. Red Goblin number one. Window Shades Nosy Neighbor variant. With slightly more substantial cover stock than page. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Ghost Rider number cover, number 11, regular cover. Hmm? Hmm? There should be more of those. Is this regular? No, it says variant right there. What's wrong with me? Variant cover, Ghost Rider number 11. Name or the Submariner number five. Black Panther, number 14. X-Men Legends, number 6. Avengers War Across Time, number 2. Another one of these. Joe Fix It, number two. <clears throat> Excuse me, here's Avengers. Facsimile edition for Avengers number eight, which of course is the first appearance of Kang, who is very popular. And last, we have the regular cover for Ghost Rider number 11. Which has the incredibly floppy cover on it. Tappy. Tappy. Here's some mailers. Let's see what we got in these. There's a, there's a lot. There's still a lot to go. Because this is two weeks, like I said, two weeks worth of stuff in one shipment. Invoice. This one's daintily wrapped in paper. This stuff, whatever that is, plastic pep, plastic packing material type stuff. And the mailer was Miracle Man Silver Age number four. Back to the mailer. Daintily packaged by Kelly R. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Armageddon Game. The Alliance number four. What in the world is going on on that cover? And we got a little bit of a corner ding on it somehow. Uh, that's not the end of the world. I'm going to let those slide. Probably not calling those in. 
Sonic the Hedgehog, number 57. Again with the corner ding. But whatever. Not that bad. I'll go ahead and say the thing that people say now. That'll press out if you get it graded. Okay, next box. They're still doing the corner packaging thing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch the last few videos. I called them. They don't care. Well, they do, but yeah. Well, the invoice. And what do we got? 2023 Sketchbook Stormbreakers Next Generation of Elite Artists. This is a free promo item. So get that for free at your comic shop, local comic shop, if they chose to order those. And they probably did because they were free. Why wouldn't you? Next box from the Penguin. Okay, Bishop War College, number one, Planet of the Apes variant, Daredevil, number eight, Planet of the Apes variant, My Little Pony, number one, Classic Three, Imagine Little Phillies, Retailer Incentive, this is the one in ten. Amazing Spider-Man, number 19, Planet of the Apes variant. Amazing Spider-Man, number 19, no prize variant. I should get the free no prize variant. I should get that one for free as a no prize for pointing out that this is Amazing Spider-Man, number 19. Not going to let it go, folks. Not going to. That's stupid. Stop being stupid, Marvel. Moon Girl Devil Dinosaur, number three. Meh. Captain America, symbol of truth, number 10. Secret Invasion, number four. Alien, number six. Going kind of fast, picking up speed. Gold Goblin, number four. Star Wars Hidden Empire, number three. My Little Pony Classics Reimagined Little Phillies. Cover B, number four, cover B. Storm and the Brotherhood of Mutants, part of the Sins of Sinister arc, which seems to be getting some interest. People kind of seem to want to be into that. Bishop War College, number one. Oh, let's take a look inside. That's your art for Bishop War College number one. Star Wars High Republic number five. And another copy, Darth Vader number 31. So there's one box left. And I don't think we've seen the reorder stuff yet, so this would be the reorder box most likely. But maybe not. We don't know. <laughs> the suspense is killing me. Yeah, 
Here's the box that was inside the other box, like Russian nesting dolls. Packing material on three of the four corners. And yes, this is the comics from last week. Moon Knight, number 20. Scarlet Witch, number two. Some of these you've seen already at the beginning of this video. Miles Morales, Spider-Man, number three. Wakanda, number five. Captain America, Sentinel of Liberty, Planet of the Apes variant, number nine. X-Force, number three. I'm sorry, X-Force number 37. Durr. Regular cover for Moon Knight number 20. Guest starring Blade. Okay, there's more. More, but wait, there's more. Now how much would you pay? Avengers number 65. Planet of the Apes variant. Scarlet Witch, number two, Planet of the Apes, variant. Bloodline, Daughter of Blade, blank cover, variant. Blank on the front, blank on the back. That's first page. So, yeah, nice. Ooh, Miles Morales. Number three, Planet of the Apes variant. Let's just go ahead and make a stack of what the heck are you thinking in Marvel. We'll put that with, the, with, the, with this. Venom. Damn, damn. Venom number 16, Planet of the Apes variant. Very damaged. Damn. I met Ron Simmons. Super nice guy. Bloodline, Daughter of Blade, number one. Let's look at the art. Huh. All right, moving on. Captain America, Sentinel of Liberty, regular cover, number nine. But the new invaders... Here's a perpetually good comic. Peach Romoko, Demon Wars, Down in Flames, number one. Let's take a look inside. This one's slightly damaged. And this is just not just a Peach Momoko variant cover. This is full-on Peach Romoko interior art. If you like such things, pick it up. I like it. X-Force, number 37. regular cover Avengers number 65 regular cover here is Venom number 16 regular cover part of the dark web story arc and I believe these webs connect to one another make a connecting cover so let's do a recap so a quick recap, because this video is not long enough already. This is Amazing Spider-Man number 19. This is, this, this one right here. This is Amazing Spider-Man number 19. And uh, there are two, two, possibly three, themes for the variant covers because there's still I say possibly three because they are still doing the nosy neighbor variant but they are also doing Black History Month and Planet of the Apes variants thanks for watching like and subscribe oh and one more thing
This weekend, at the Berglund Center in Roanoke, Virginia, Saturday and Sunday, a two-day event, is Big Lick Comic Con. I encourage you to go to this event if at all possible and meet the people behind Collector Express. That's us, me and Jared and some other people. We'll be at Big Lick Comic Con, set up as vendors. I highly recommend going to that event. And if you do, I will try to sell you something. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye.